In Africa, climate change is eating people hard. By 2100, the temperature will rise by 4 degrees Celsius. There will be 40% less rainfall. Some areas will get drier, much drier. There will be more droughts, there will be more high winds. There will be more floods. And other extreme weather events. Crop production is very sensitive to weather conditions at key times of the year, particularly days of sunshine, temperature and precipitation level. For example, depending on a crop stage of development, every spring frost can damage the growth of cereal and destroy fruit blossoms. Likewise, summer droughts can cause crops to wither and it's creating a longer term challenge. Hello, today climate change is one of the top issues the world must collectively address to achieve a more sustainable and brighter future. Climate change has severe consequences and it is man caused, it is atrophic in nature. What this means is that humans are responsible through, their, through our actions, through continuous emission of CO2 and other greenhouse gases, therefore warming our planet. Today in Nigeria, we can see evident examples of how climate change is impacting different sectors. For example, now our, our rainfall patterns are shifting. We're having less amount of rain throughout the country. This is affecting agriculture. This is affecting the transport sector. This is affecting power generation. This is affecting you know um, surveillance of disease and monitoring. Also affecting the hydropower generation. And that also depends on hydro hydro generation of electricity for the whole country. And then, when we have this amount of rain, we're going to flunk, make changes in our power generation, which also have other consequences to our society. What can we do about climate change? One, we must acknowledge the fact that we are the cause of this. We must then begin to shift our, our industrialization efforts to other cleaner methods. For example, now, we could move from reliance on oil and natural gas and focus on renewable sources of energy which is more cleaner and good for our environment we have resources in nigeria like solar like like wind like tidal sources of energy that could help benefit us and unlock job opportunities and not better for the environment also too we have to unlock new sources of finance for efforts that help adapt that help us adapt to climate change for example now in location of people in affected area for research, for science and for development. Why many farmers are currently managing to achieve high yields? Their ability to respond to weather variation has reduced in the last decades. The extended use of chemical solution to tackle the spread of weed, pest and disease has over time led to increased resistance, making the chemical less effective. I am Oyeyemi Alamide Victoria. <laughs>